Could you give a, a just a short synopsis again for those younger people that may not know the significance of what has just taken place, not just for Israel, but for geopolitical peace? This agreement between Kosovo and Serbia is historic, as you say, Jay. I mean, we've been literally fighting about symbolism and words for 21 years, and that's what they call the political process. They, they've, they've not been able to move forward on economics. And so what Donald Trump said to me is, Let's try to get them together for economic normalization. How about they just work together to create jobs for young people? And so this agreement was all about that. It was ignoring the, the fights about words and symbolism and trying to get the two parties to just drop the borders as much as possible on the economic side. So we have an air agreement, first time be, uh, flight in 21 years between Pristina in Belgrade to kind of begin to have commerce normalization, a rail agreement, which will move uh, commerce between the two, and a motor agreement, which opens up borders. We are gonna do a, a US government study on the lake that's shared between the two, mostly in Kosovo, partly in Serbia, to figure out a feasibility study of how to utilize the lake for energy issues. Um, both countries agreed to decriminalize homosexuality. Uh, and help us in that fight. Um, both countries agreed to ban Hezbollah. Both countries agreed to move forward on a bunch of rail projects that's gonna link uh, their capitals to the rail line. This is gonna create all sorts of jobs. Both countries agreed to recognize each other's diplomas and, huh. and, uh, and work uh, permits. How about that? That's an amazing accomplishment because if you were a dentist, living in Kosovo, but trained in, in Serbia, you couldn't work because they wouldn't recognize your, your skills. And so this is gonna open up uh, individuals to really begin to work and, and build a family and have careers. We think that when you, you work towards jobs and job creation, that the political fights of the last 21 years are gonna fall uh, aside. I told both leaders, Symbolism may be important, but it doesn't pay your mortgage and it doesn't put food right. on, on the table. Jobs do. What about the, the, the Israel aspect of it I found particularly interesting here? And that was that uh, as part of this negotiation, uh, you've got this recognition of Israel. How significant do you see that geopolitically within that portion of the world? So two things is the reason why that is so important is because we're trying to get that portion of the world to be more Western tilting. And so two, two aspects of the agreement that I think, actually three now that comes to mind. One, designating Hezbollah as a terrorist organization. Yeah. Two, they both agreed to diversify their energy sources, which means for Serbia, that's huge. 100% of their, their energy right now comes from Russia. They have agreed to diversify, which means pull away from Russia. And then they both agreed to do more to to uh, recognize Israel and to dig deep on their relationship with Israel. So Serbia will move its embassy by next July to Jerusalem and Kosovo and Israel will recognize each other for the first time. And so this is really moving that region towards a Western tilt and, and peeling them away from Russia and China. This is a huge diplomatic win for Donald Trump by, by any measure. And then, Rick, you, you brought up today, too, a, you said it's an article about Bosnia, that Bosnia is also considering moving its embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. And I think it goes back to that that bigger tilt that you're talking about. So it's away from the Russia, away from the China, away from that kind of Eastern thinking for these countries that are kind of in Central Europe and, and moving towards the West, whether they're majority Muslim, whether they're majority Orthodox, whatever they are, uh, religious-wise, is moving them out of just seeing themselves in that context and moving it towards the Western way uh, of thinking geopolitically. Huge. It's going to make Americans safer by having more allies that are Western tilted. And it's going to make our U.S. businesses and European businesses who are you know, filled with Western values able to open up and expand into this region. Instead of them, uh, instead of Serbia and Kosovo looking to China or Russia, they're gonna look to America and Western style government, uh, Western style businesses in Europe to begin to expand um, their job sector. Now, what that means is that more people in Serbia and in Kosovo 
will be working for companies that have Western values. That's going to translate into the family over years. That's going to really transform the region.